Hey everybody, it's Sully. Uh, give it a few minutes here. I'm trying to get set up still. Oh dear, I'm going to have to take that off. Trying to figure out where my stuff is. Where to go? Where did my thingy go? Shoot. Ah, there it is. My thingy. RDFPV, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right today. Ah, there it is. Shoot. Can't find everything. There we go. I'm getting double double volume here. Anyway, I wanted to do this. Uh, I wanted to do this yesterday, actually. Whenever I did that stupid PSA, um, I got a lot more feedback, both online and offline. Holy cow! A lot of people wanted to build their own. Um, and there's a thing on building your own, and I wanted to say at 149, I couldn't build a three inch quad like this, um, cause you have a $40 VTX, a $5 ripple board, $60 for motors, wherever they went, yeah, $60 for motors on sale, that's four of them. A $40 flight controller stack and a $26 camera and still a $25 frame. So the frame camera is 50, frame camera is 50, the stack makes it 90, the motors make it 150, and the ripple board and unify makes it 199 to build. Yeah, so I, that's the thing. Like, I did not realize whenever I got this quad that I couldn't piece it together using any discounts for less than about 190 bucks. I was, I did a review on this Ishin Diatone, Artie, and it was, uh, I did a review and I had a stupid PSA at the end that was, hey, you know, make sure when you're watching reviews that you're watching modern stuff because these things change and last year it was the xjb 145 that was the new thing and this year um I, I feel like diatone has just kicked their game up a lot and i received this quad the the this one that's on screen and i was trying to piece it together and i thought oh i could build that for you know less than 170 dollars or 150 and then I started looking and like I, I was blown away. I wanted a TBS and I can't find one cheaper than 40. And it came actually with the Ripple board. Um, and that Mamba 2 stack, which is awesome by the way. So if you're building, this stack can't be beat. Like, especially since it comes with the gummies and everything. And then, um, that Micro Swift, I was really impressed with. Uh, like, even if I were to take six or seven dollars off for a cheaper camera, eh, I still couldn't get it down to anything close to what it is. Like, a frame, if, if I took five dollars off for a frame, got a cheaper frame and a cheaper camera, I'm saving ten. But I can't get better, like, there aren't that many better motors. Um, yeah, I can find a VTX. Actually, I didn't think I like the TVS Unify. Uh, I see why people use them, like, a lot. Because, huh. holy cow. Um, and that's the thing, like, a lot of these, maybe one, one watt, good grief. Okay, maybe this one, all right, so I'd save 15 there. So I've saved 25 bucks. I'm still at 150, but this is a full size, so I can use it. Yeah, like that. There's just no way I could make. I just can't. 
shoot. Just to get the TBS Unify, I, I just can't. Like, I, okay, so if I didn't do that and I made something with a cheaper, yeah, I, I just can't make anything as good. If I used a different diatone model, maybe. Let's see. Maybe that's it. So this one's at 150. Um, let's go with GTR 349. Yeah, that's the 20 by 20. Uh, I do like this. This one's awesome. Holy cow. Um, I like this one a lot. Yeah, Rotori, it's not any cheaper. Like, not at all. So, anyway, I just, I got a lot of feedback on, you know, how the, you should build your own and build your own, but I don't think at the three inch it's viable because I've built four of them and not one has been better than about $120 and still doesn't fly as well as that one at 150 so let's see browse category 20 by 20 stacks uh, and it came with a ton of screws that I can use later yeah that ripple board um, where'd it go Uh, where to go, where to go, where to go. Didn't like that. That's the pro. Where'd my ripple board go? I'm not really after that much of a VTX. I'm more of, I was trying my best to try to build the, basically rebuild the, oh shoot, where'd it go? Um, to build the this or something like it that does about 112 miles per hour to build it cheaper. And I quite frankly can't. Where'd my ripple board go? Yeah, here's that ripple board. So it's just a little board that sits. Um, you can't really see it in this light, but it sits under the TBS and it's got a capacitor on it, which you can see there. And it's um, it just cleans up the video noise and it does it remarkably well. Like, holy cow. It is... I didn't think it would be that good. Um, like, it's amazingly good. Like, holy... Amazingly good. Um, so if I were buying, I, I would definitely get another one of these. And it comes uh, like that. So I don't even think it's just for the TBS Unify. I think it'd be for any of them. It's got transmission, ground, 5 volt, and VT out. That's what it looks like anyway. Um, so yeah, like add that plus, uh, let's see. Ooh, nice batteries. Is that two of them? Huh. It's it's definitely more purpose-built than a cap. Uh, I'd never seen it either, honestly. I didn't know they existed. But, uh, so a weird thing with this. So on the diatone, they actually have a cap on the flight controller. Uh, since the flight controller is an all-in-one version, so they have power going into the the ESC with no cap on it, and then the ESC powers up the flight controller. That one has a cap that then goes to that ripple board, which then goes to the TBS Unify. So it's like super duper filtered. And honestly, I'm kind of afraid to open my. Oh boy, where is it? I don't even know where it is. Shoot. I don't really want to open that can of worms. Um, 
but yeah, like the the video out of it, I was just I man, I was blown away. I'm trying to find where that is without kicking myself in the groin. Dooby doo. Just pop it up and see where it goes. Gee. Entertain. There we go. All right. So yeah, that. Uh, well, here we are. Like, even enlarged. I can't see any noise. So I was blown away, and this is at twenty-five milliwatts, by the way. I'm not sure how it's looking in the stream. For me, it's huge. But I've never had video that clean. Like, ever. In the history of ever. Um, so I was kind of wanting to make something like that. Is that phone video? Cheesecake, call me. Sorry, I'm trying to find another what I'm used to hit by car. Oh, that's funny. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so compared with this, which isn't a bad one, but I have lines there and I have other than a lot more prop wash than I remember. <laughs> Um, it's just a different experience. What is the RDQ? Let me check that one out. Race day quads. Mach 1 and Mach 2. Sorry, let me slide this over. I can't see very well today. Or any day for that matter. I'm getting old. Um... Mach 1 and Mach 2. That's not what I want. Let's just go here. BTX. Twenty by twenty. That's a hundred. Okay, that was 200. Nova. That one's 40 already. That one looks good. Oh, that's the AKK, which, eh, questionable. Ah, my mouse is stuck. See, I've seen this one. Yeah, I've seen it. I just, uh, I was blown away by just how, I didn't think, I never thought that I would be like, ooh, buy this. When it was something. <sighs> Gracious. I know I had so many things in here. Oh, cool. I like everything about this, just better. I love it. I was like, I just love it. Like, if I could find something that would do that for less than 40, but I don't see anything less than 40. So yeah, whenever you build it out, it's, I don't know how it, either they jack their prices up on their individual parts or they jack their prices on their individual. I don't know um, if I want 1408 motors, Mach 2 VTX. Where is that? I'm still not seeing it. Smoke this. What's going on? Hey, I found out how to clean up video noise. <laughs> Uh, smoke this. I don't know what the Mach 2 is. Mach 2 VTX. 
I just don't see it. Uh, Mach 2 by RDQ. Let's see what this is. Yeah, see it twenty four dollars. Like, oh no, it probably is very good. Okay, all right. So twenty five bucks, let's say. Uh, five hundred, eight hundred. No plug. <laughs> Direct success, not recommended. I yeah, bet not. So yeah, let's see. Do they charge shipping? Can't open YouTube. Uh, gotta put in my stuff. I don't want to do that. Okay. FPV Fight Club. there anywhere else no um smoke this i was putting i was putting together i, I basically wanted to start this up because i priced out everything that is in the in this quad that i got um it's the er 349 and at 165, I was like, that's kind of pricey. So um, I asked them for a coupon, and they're like, it's on sale for a while. And then there's a coupon code that's in the description that I put down um, way down here for it. So it'll be 149 until at least till the end of July. And I thought I would um, look it up and see if I could get anything built that was close to that price. And what I have built, um, I still ended up not getting the VTX I wanted, and it's slower. Still flies great, so I love it. It does use tachyon motors. But I thought, oh, I was going to go in here and look up the parts to see if I could, to see if it made sense on what they were charging at 150 And it turns out that finding a TBS Unify Pro for less than 40 is pretty much impossible. So if I swapped over to a different VTX, um, let's say 25, I'm saving 15 there, so I'm at $25. Uh, then it was, oh yeah, they put the Ripple board on top, so actually their VTX is $45. And then, um, yeah, that Ripple board. And then, don't want that. The motors are 15, which that's actually about what 1408 motors go for now. I think. I don't think you can find any less expensive, decent ones. Hobby Wings, 18, 15. Oh, these at 3600 kV. Uh, thank you, RDFPV. Thanks again. Good gracious. I appreciate that. Banggood's using the TBS Unify because once you didn't notice that you've been giving Unify Pro away on their monthly. Do they have, who has subscription boxes that give these away? And see, that's the thing. You can't buy a TBS Unify on here. Um, so you have to... Oh, really? I I would never recommend it because, like, at $40, for me, a VTX shouldn't be over 20 That's about the most I would pay. And honestly, even then, like, I've bought all-in-one cameras with VTXs to take the VTX off because they were like $16 and the VTX is 200 milliwatts with smart audio. So, <laughs> but it's it's not as good as this stupid thing, or at least not for me with that stupid, with this stupid thing. Um, but I haven't, I don't do the subscription box. 
And see, that makes a lot more sense what you're saying. So eosine diatone ended up popping some extra ones in here. So if I took that out and I literally just did the mamba stack, which I'm, at least until something better comes out, I love how this thing's set up. Um, I thought there were a lot of pins and I thought this would be really hard to solder. But most of the flight controllers I have turn these sideways and they do two rows so they don't look as stacked along the end. And those are actually harder to solder. So I love these at 40 bucks. I see what you're saying with the, the TBS not selling. That makes sense. Um, the run cam, like this, I will probably end up buying because I like the video on it until I find something better. Uh, I do have... Oscar Phoenix. This is going on my three inch right now. Uh, this one. And from what I've seen, it's amazing. Uh, a little bit pricier. And um, yeah, this is exactly what I'm seeing. It's a little bit pricier. But I ended up getting one actually from one of those for review. So, yeah, I'm I'm becoming a huge run cam fan, and I love the diatone frames. So I don't know if I would pay twenty five for it. The Micro Swift two that it really is. Uh, <laughs> it became like I was just not expecting this type of image on a three inch quad after flying the Cadex and everything else. Get FTV crate. Smoke this. Where do you get the Swift 2 for 20? Like, I'm only seeing them at 25. Um, and RD, you're saying Get FPV has one of those. Let's see. I'm always afraid of typing into my address bar since several people use my computer. Cadix on my 5 inch. See, I have a Caddx EOS 2, and I just haven't had a chance to put it in a quad yet. Uh, you're saying a box. Where's a box? New to draw. Oh. And what I really want now, the quad box. I know about quad box. Um... I just don't know if... See, like, I don't do that much anymore because I don't, I don't really build as much. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I just like to fly, and I got my arsenal built up, so I'm not looking for repairs to fly. What's in here? I don't really care about stickers. I do like... I don't know what I like. Yeah, I, I could see, um, I did like the Cadex, where is it, um, if I end up showing something inappropriate, please, sorry. I like the Cadex, um, that's loud, holy cow, mute that. I love how this thing looks, um. It's a boring flight, but I do like this. What I didn't like for this was the accompanying... Uh, is it this one? Yeah. So, like, this is the GTR 349 Cadex with the uh, Runcam TX200, which isn't a bad one. Like, I thought that was pretty good. FPV crate. Crypto, what's going on? Your camera came off. Uh, crypto, I have used anything from tie straps, zip ties, to Velcro. I actually took a... Uh, do I have one? I took a... A paper clip stretched it out and twisted it 
like um <laughs> if you used to old school uh what's that called fence the wire tying Uh, I've I've done the twisty wire tie to make it tight, uh, to hold it in place. And for mine, what I mean by come off is that the front housing came off the camera. <laughs> and I've had the camera come off of the mount. And out of all that, I still still flew. So doesn't matter. Fly what you got. Uh, by the way, if you get the Cadex turtle too you might not be able to see it up here but there are fine lines that drive me insane so you have to do a a firmware update so it comes off in multiple ways yeah but um yeah it, it's it's crazy <laughs> yeah oh so yours came out of the frame that's it's actually the easiest to fix I can't wait till one day we can fly with this type of video feed. Like, I would be so happy with this. <laughs> oh, I never thought about that. Why don't those zoom in? Can't change the angel. Can I zoom? I can. Nope, I don't want that. I want, like, inside zoom. There we are. Zoom two, zoom one, fine, I'm pad nine. I never thought about increasing this until the props were out of view. Oh gracious, now I'm getting seasick. Crypto, good to see you. I'm glad people joined today, I wasn't sure. I didn't know if I'd be able to get on tonight or not. Um, I never thought about increasing my just zooming in on the video. I also didn't realize I was getting some jello in here now that I'm looking this closely. Huh, I have to fix that. BTC is up. Yes, it is. Uh, 12,000 now, is it? Quad box. All right. Well, anyway, I, my main point was to say sometimes just buying the quad is easier than sourcing it together. Let's do rotor builds. Seven, so 14,000 today. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Do you trade or do you just buy and invest and hold? I used to do penny stocks and options trading. Um, but I never did current... Well, no, I take that back. I did do... Uh, what's it called? Forex. But never um, cryptocurrency. So I did that. Trade, sell, hold. Okay. That's cool coming back up since people are now worried again about World War 92. Ugh. That's me, by the way. Mm. I want to do a new build. Start a build. Frame. What a... Can't do five inch. TBS source three and a half inch? Hey, that's cool. I didn't know they had that. Gecko! Oh shoot, that's expensive. New, 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 new. What we got on three inch? Ooh, Hyperlight Floss. I didn't know he had a three inch flosser. IH3, there we go. Now that I do. The Massive Droner. I finally figured out what Massive Droner meant. And uh, I'm like Bardwell. Hey, <laughs> hey, can't believe he said that. Ready to sky Nova looking. Oh, that's awesome. Smoke this. Uh, hold on. BTC. For the record, not really in 
This is what's known as a head and shoulders pattern. So you go into here, consolidation, people get bought out, and then volume comes back in. Oh my God, I'm going to miss it. And then everyone buys. It'll go back up. If it doesn't go above the 21 again, it's going back to like probably that 5,000 support range. So be careful. Uh, the IH3, I like the IH3. I think I do like that. I think I want that Add URL. Uh, that's the 40. I don't want that. I do want the mini, but I want the two. Mark two. There we go. Diatone, Mamba, Power Tower. There we go. There we go. RDQ. Hey, RDQ is cheaper than Banggood right now, just so you know. Buy red, sell green. Ha! <laughs> Um, all right, so if you want to know my stock prowess, I bought MasterCard right there. <laughs> um, like literally I bought it the second day it was out, so I think I paid $47 and then it split a lot, 10 to 1, yeah, 10 to 1. So I bought 47, then it split 10 to 1, so that's 470. So I'm between there and there. And now it is there. So that is my number one stock pick ever. Uh, ESCs are covered. Motors. Emacs. Oh, 1408. I love these. Flynoceros. Let us see. I shall do that. Let me check it out. T motor tachyon. Oh, tachyons. These are what I used. I like these. Forty-one hundred. Those are thirty-seven fifty. Thirty-seven. All right, we're doing tachyons. RCN power fifteen oh six. Let's do that. Oh, this is I. Yeah, I do like tachyons. They are nice. Um, you're saying RCN power 1506. Do you like the wider stator? Oh, 4100. Sweet. Cool. Except why are they more expensive? Might have been 15. Well, there's 1506 and 1507. I like, oh, Avengers. New, new. Uh, there is no way I would pay fifty-one bucks for. Oh, it's five. Okay, never mind. Um, new, new Archangel. Well, that's cool. I've never seen those. Avengers. I would have to say I kind of like the brother hobbies. Um, yeah, I'm going to do Brother Hobby. How about those? They have a three inch. You're saying Fly Nasserus. That was the thing I was going to look up. Let's do this. That's a six inch. Okay. Uh, can't do three. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Flyno is great. Um, do they have a... Do they have a 3 inch? Flynoceros? The skull. Custom. Drones, build parts, frame parts. Ah, uh, can't tell. Mini! Micro, mini, M5. Uh, I'm actually looking for something that will get, the reason I like this one, I want something that doesn't have props in the frame. Oh yeah, hey that's a good one, I like, I like that idea. Let's do that. H G L R C arrow. 
I do like that. Yep. It's GL. And that's light. And but I do have props in view. Hmm. Yeah, it'll work. Add URL, that one's easy. 3052s. By the way, these are on sale. Well, they're not on sale. They're six six pairs for ten bucks at on Amazon. That's two pairs for six. They're for three. Two pairs. Three, six, nine. So Hmm. Guess that's not as good. Yeah, kind of like, huh, I might go back to that IH3. Oh, it is a dual split. You're right. 3045s? Do I? Oh, I saw those. Um, And I do like having the wider. I'm going to put a Cadex in here because I have one. So I'm actually... I have one of these now because it finally came. Uh, yeah, sure. Get FPV. I like them. One or two cam. Oh, wrong one. Didn't want that. I wanted this. Yeah, see, I bought these. Oh, eight pairs. That's what it was. Eight pairs. Which seems to be cheaper than any other page. Um, by the way, I do. I have these Nazgul's. I don't like them. I got them off eBay and they were, they're just horrible. These, however, these look pretty good. They're bull nose though. Two on the bottom front. Let's see. I gotta check this frame out better. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I got 15 more minutes before I have to take my dogs out. Ow, I'm a. They're awesome. You like the, you like these? I was actually worried about getting these because they're bull nose, and I liked how the thirty fifty twos. Oh, they're, they aren't that bull nose. Okay, well, yeah, they do. I like the um, gem fans. Uh, one because they came with the the. This thing, I like the little tip. And it flew so much better than the LDARC 3050s I've been flying. And they, uh, after a bunch of flights, they still look new. So I was kind of leaning this way. But they're pricier than what I normally buy. But I don't run through 3-inch props as fast as I did 5-inch props. So 8 pairs sent him to... Ooh, that does have extra... That's got a lot of extra room in it. Okay. I uh, see what you're saying now. Hey, I could always do a um, cheater quad. Ha. That'd be fun. FPV transmitter. Dang. See, like that. 50 bucks. RDQ Mach 3. Is this the... Holy cow. Okay, I kind of like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What else do we have? We had others in here. What do we have in here? 5v3. This is what I use almost all the time. The VTX03. The ER... EWRF is decent. I don't know what that is. Uh, 
Let's see. I think I might do this one just to give it a shot. Oh, that is the one. So that's Mach 3. All right, cool, 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 cool. MMCX to SMA. E uh, EWRF. I've never heard of that. What is this? Oh! Why have I never heard it? This looks like something I would have heard of. Switchable. Switch duh. Uh, 200 off. All in one. Any preference? I can't tell what the differences are. Huh. That is kind of cute. And smart audio. I am going to add that to the cart. Thank you. I've never seen this. Um, that is something I want to try out. That looks pretty good. Current is smaller, power more stable. All right. Well, thanks. I've never heard of that one in my life. <laughs> that is a new one. Cool. So I don't need that. Uh, I do want the newer... This instead of what I normally get, which... Ooh, why is that so much cheaper? Why is this cheaper? I've never heard of EWRF, so thanks. That I'm going to have to check out. Looks like it's button and smart audio. That hits two of the things I love. Batteries. Alright, now I've been struggling for good micro-sized batteries that don't break the bank. And I need something other than these. Yeah, I saw the pro one. I think I'm just going to stick with the cheap one. Oh, boy. I would love this. That's 17 bucks, though. Mm. Batteries went up last year, and it, they just haven't come down. It's driving me crazy. Steel counter stomp, neural. Rotor geeks. I don't really need hardware if I've got all that. What's the power options on this one? On this one? 0 to 200 off switched 48 channel. Pit mode OSD. Pretty standard stuff. Huh. I don't know if it has its own OSD or if it just... Oh, it does. Oh. No, that's just standard. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 200. I I don't fly that far out. Uh, 25 will normally cover what I need, but I do like just better ones. Uh, miss. I do want a capacitor. Cap. Don't need a big one. Let's go with uh, 35, 25. Ooh, 10 piece. There we go. That's easy enough. Global. Don't care. All right. There we go. 200 bucks. Jesus. Oh, mechanics, that's why I can take that off. 135 bucks. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, if I, uh, if I ever go fly in a place that has that anymore, 
Um, I've become very boring. Drives me crazy, but whatever. I uh, will be okay. And yeah, these props suck. Like, they look all funky. They fly like shit. Um, these are good. Yeah, these are horrible. Don't even, friends don't let friends buy these. Uh, you know, higher power. EWRF, I've just never heard of that. So this is totally new to me. 600 for 1250. Ooh. Okay, never mind, that might be. But I have to get an antenna. That one has an actual antenna. That is a cool camera. <laughs> That's funny. The 400 and 600 are the same. They actually do 500. That's the only thing I hate about... Um, ooh. There we go. That's the only thing I hate about a lot of these parts. Unless you test them out, you really don't know what you're getting sometimes. Like you have no real clue. Um, like at all. So I think that's going to do it. And I'm at 200 bucks. Golly. So if I do that, let's say I go cheaper motors. A 4X Racer Stars. 30. I do not recommend these motors, by the way. Yeah, I know. It says it right in the box. That's funny. Let's go 1507. What we got here? 4X. Why are they so expensive? So that's like 14 bucks. Yeah, I would just do these at that point. RD, I'm just putting together something. Um, I have a Cadex, and I want something with my with no props in view, and I want it kind of fast and probably a little bit more crazy. I kind of do. I have 4S750, but I did not realize when I bought it that they would double in price over the next year. Okay, maybe I have 4S850, 650, and I've gotten to where I fly, um, I actually do 1300s on my 3 inch, and it, it feels more like my 5 inch, so it's a lot heavier. And it's still crazy fast, but my 5 inch isn't that fast, so it makes it a lot easier for me. We got 1500 See, these are so pricey now. Ooh. I did not know indestructible quads lowered their prices. Now that's interesting. All right. All right. I must give them credit. Indestructible quads. Good job. If you find a good 3-inch frame, um, I'm all ears. If you find a good 4-inch frame, I'm still in the market for one. I just haven't found one I like. Uh, the stuff. 
Gobi Extreme, The Martian. Wow, these are old. See, this is what I mean. If you didn't know, you might think, ooh, I'm buying a really good thing. Not really. No receiver. GoPro quality. Tornado T2, 25 amp. See, it's an F3. That's This is exactly what I mean. Thanks, Artie. Yeah, seriously, I'm looking if you if you find. But this is what I meant yesterday with my um PSA. Like you you might be shopping around and you'd see, "Ooh, here's an indestructible Gobi 180 Extreme. It's an F3 board. Why is this $400?" Like, why is this $400? There's nothing on this that's 400 bucks. It even uses a stupid OSD is six. Like nothing about this is worth that much. Golly. Except the batteries. Their batteries are good. So let's see. Newbie drone. Ah. Uh. Sorry, I keep looking for batteries now. I bet, I bet, I bet. Oh, these are all small. Dang it. Three inch, five inch has top plate and bottom plate encircling the props. I don't know that I've seen that. Do you remember the name of it? Oh, this one? Mega B? Uh, that's professional. I like the Fly Fox. That's pretty cool. That's actually really good. I like the iX3 Lite. Price isn't great. Ooh. The K-Bat. Right there, bottom right. Oh, this thing. That is definitely a Cinebi build. Um, I like this. There are a lot of new frames. You are right, Fly Fox. The Tiro, I'm having problems fitting everything in. Yeah, right there. I like both of these, but that's a two inch. I have one of these because I have the Tiro and I replaced all the internals because it was fun. Um, that if I had a Tarsier. Yeah, a little different. Ouch. Ouch. Everything hurts today. See, like this. Why is this frame even here? That should not be sold anymore. Um, that looks like a floss rip. Oh, yeah. No, I believe it's light. I'm much lighter than a Cine B. The only thing I don't like is the top plate probably interferes a bit. But it probably feels good. I don't know. I'd have to fly it and see. Like I say, I'm not that good. So I don't, I don't know if I notice a lot of differences. I only notice if I can see props and if I can't see props. Um, I take that back, actually. The Stretch X, I, do, I like Stretch X better than Traditional X. Um, True X or whatever. I do like the Stretch X frames. The Rattel. That looks painful. That's a 220. Uh, I think I'm in 5 inch frames now. Uh, new. 
I like this. Um, this is about as straightforward as it gets. Holy cow. That is hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't use stretch X for CADEX or HD video. I would, I would go actually with an H design. So I kind of like this. Um, KHX4. I'm saving that one. I kind of like this too. And it's got two stacks. Uh, yeah. I do like this a bit. I don't know. I would be. Oh, it's a five inch. Let's see, three inch. Oh, doesn't change. The only thing I don't like with this, those are tiny motors or tiny motor mounts. KHX4, what is that? Thanks. Oh. Yeah, this is. This is really good. This is out of my price range. Um. I do like that though. Yeah, I like I like this a lot. <laughs> that probably flies amazingly well. Uh, put the battery on top and the stuff on bottom. I will say I'm not as quick to dismiss the pricier stuff if it's really good. I'd have to see how that one goes together. Yeah, I do like Gap RC. Uh, Sky Stars. What is this? Rattel. Oh, shoot. That looks pretty cool. I see that. You're talking about the Gap RC, this one? Because it is uh, way more than thorough. Like, that is definitely put together. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any complaints about that. Yeah. Yeah, I would not. I would not turn that down. That's that's really nice. And multiple battery straps, different lengths, all your screws. I have found lately, like the cheap ones, um, they skimp on the hardware, so you end up not having anything to help put your stack in place. And that's been driving me crazy because I have a few that I can't even build because I don't even have. Um, I don't have any way of putting them together. This I like. I just like this. Um, this looks like it'd be stable and cheap and... <sighs> Shoot. Except it's set up for those 11, 1106 motors. which are too small for 1407. Dang it. Dang it. So that's 1106. Yeah. Um, and I've gotten where I, I don't even like plastic hardware as much. I would like this. I think this would be the frame I would pick if the holes were set up for 1407s. Dang it. Are these set up for 13, 14? It's eight grams heavier. Socks. Ah, there we go. Nine by nine and 12. Um, I like this. This is clean. <laughs> I really like this. I do not like the fact that their motors aren't even hooked up though. That's hilarious. 
Um, and I'm not a fan of TPU mounts. Uh, and that comes with very limited pieces. One, two, three, four, and a couple of mounts. Solid frame. I actually kind of like this. I think I like this one a lot. I'm going with that to cart. Uh, yeah, I probably could. I don't think I like it enough to do that. Except it's light. Um, and I'd have to only, I'd probably only drill out two holes. I don't really like that. Yeah, I think I would pick this one over that one. I just wish it had a better camera mount system. I don't like... Just not a TPU fan. Alright, I did not... My dogs are starting to bite. Or bark, rather. It's very annoying. Dogs. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to shut it down here. Thank you so much for hanging in. Um, I'm going to save this where I have it, create a build. Save. Oh, be sure to name it. Name your build. It's going to be crazy. I thought I did name it. Copy. Oh, there it is. Paste. Save. Yeah. IH3. Did not realize that. I think that's why I like the IH3 better. Every time I see it, at least it has that. But see, if I go over here, oh, what's that thing called? Shoot, what's it called? Now what's called turtles? Uh, Racing frame. I just can't remember the name of it. New. No. Here it is, baby turtle, one forty-five. Is this it? Yeah. So I have one of these. Um, which I'm thinking about taking apart because its camera mount is much better than what I have. Huh. I, I haven't used it in a while. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to shut it down. My dogs are really barking. Yeah, it is similar. I don't think I see the props in view. So I might end up using this. Cool. I don't think it's this one though. Shoot. I just can't remember what it's called. There was a Turtles Pro and something. Is that what it is? Halifar turtle, that's the one, Halifar. Okay, okay, my... Mm. Sorry, my dog's whining at the door. There it is, this is what I have. This frame. I see. Oh, thank you, Artie. Appreciate it. 
Thanks again for everything. Um, okay, so the 135 is one stack. That's what I have. And it's crammed. Dang it. Yeah, I think though. This is just a ripoff of the IH3, so yeah. Yeah, oh well. All right. I've definitely got to go out. My dog's going crazy right now. Um, thanks again for hanging out. I appreciate it. Uh, like I say, building your own, not always the best. So I'm going to leave this chat up for a while. Um, I'll probably take it down in a few days just because it messes up my YouTube analytics stuff. But thanks again for hanging out. And um, yeah, we'll catch you later. Good to see you again. Thanks for all the part recommendations, so that's cool. Let's get to the end. I, I used to only build, I'm telling you. And then I, uh, yeah, it's just really hard to, it's really hard to justify the build price anymore. Like I used to build cause it was cheaper and I just can't. But anyway, thank you again. Appreciate it so much. We'll talk to you later. I'll be back in later this week. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Take care.